Hey everybody, doing a short tutorial today for paper 2.5D, I guess. Um, I have had a few of you request it and ask about all my other projects, so uh, I figure I'd do something for Godot because I have not yet. I've only done it for Unreal. It's kind of the same process, um, although I would argue it's even simpler in Godot, thankfully. So. This is the scene. This is the player scene. We're just going to be making a player today. Uh, if I hit left, it'll flip to the left. If I hit right, flip to the right. And if you spam it, it finishes. And if you interrupt it, you go back. Real easy to do. So I'll just hop into it. Okay. Uh, I'll start from scratch. So we'll use a character body. Or whatever you're using. This is this is how I made the project. So feel free to make edits after we're done here. Um, we'll call this paper character. Uh, I'll do a quick save because I'm a I'm a I'm obsessed. And then we'll do animated sprites. You can use regular Sprite 3D um, if you want. Uh, for this, I'll use animated Sprite because it kind of sets up the character to be iterated on if you have animations. And we'll go over to Sprite Frames, click New Sprites. Um, if you have your sheet ready to go, excellent, use it. If not, no worries. Just drag icon SVG in. It'll work for now. And to default, um, we're not going to be playing any animation specifically. This is just more for visual. Again, we're just focusing on the flipping part. Once you get through this, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can do capsule. Whoops, that's not it. Collision, shape. Um, I use capsule. Depending on the shape of your character, you can do circle or whatever you would like. Real easy. Just make it fit. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're not actually using it in this tutorial. This is just to build the character. Um, oh, one thing that'll help is a camera. Um, move it back. If you're having troubles seeing, you can either click preview, click it again, or what I do is I do two viewports and then preview. Um, so drag it back a little bit, up a little bit, give it a tiny bit of rotation. You'll see in a lot of other tutorials that people will billboard the sprite. Uh, it will. This will not work if you billboard, because the rotation is locked. That is just something to keep in mind. So you'll just have to be wary of your camera. Okay. Um, so nodes are set up. Let's hop into the script. We're going to create a new script, player character, sorry, paper character. Um, let's see. So first and foremost, let's drag. Actually, let's rename. Let's rename. Um, I'm just going to call it Sprite for now. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just shortening it so that we can reference it. So what you want to do for easiness is control drag. Whoops. There we go. Click drag. Wait, what? Okay. Click drag, then hold control, then release. Click. Yeah. Okay. So that gives us our on ready. So that's a reference. We'll need that to set the rotation. Next will be var flip. So we'll want to tell it how fast we want to flip. So I'm going to do var flip speed. Um, it's going to be a float and we'll start it with 15. Next up, we, for this to work, we want to know if we're facing left or right. So I'm going to do a var face right 
as a bool, whoops, bool, and we'll set it to trip. Okay, good stuff. Moving on, we need to build the flip. So I put it in physics process because the way that this is built, it's always going to be flipping, so to speak. You'll see in a second. So the basic is if face right. So if if we're facing right, what do we want to do? We want the sprite uh, to rotate towards, I guess, rest. So zero. Um, I found that using rotation degrees works best. I did a bit of a trial and error. And I had everything from a helicopter to getting stuck in the middle. I don't really fully understand, but this is what worked for me. So rotation degrees dot y and equals an awesome function move toward. This thing needs more recognition in praise. So it takes from and to. So from will be the current rotation. So sprite dot rotation degrees dot y so whatever it's at and we want it move towards zero right so if we're facing right we want it to be flat on facing right and delta will be our speed so flip speed which is why we defined it before um so if we're not facing right we want to do we want to rotate basically mirror right rotation degrees dot y equals again move toward sprite dot rotation degrees dot y 180 flip speed delta flip speed okay above the code we did we need to get our input now here here's a here's a bit of a branch so if you're doing two directions sorry if you're doing more than two directions so if you're wanting to make a full 3d paper mario-esque game character you would do var input dir either way we're doing var input dir so if you're doing four directions equals input dot get vector and then here's where you would put your four uh input controls so since this is default, so it would be UI left for negative X, UI right for positive X, UI L up right, I think. Yeah. And then UI down. Yeah, so there we're getting our var input. Um, more than two directions so that's if you're doing two direct more than two directions sorry now if we're wanting to do just left and right it's like a side scroller it's kind of like super paper mario uh whoops i guess i should type that out uh bar input we'll comment this out bar input dir equals input dot get i believe axis yeah axis ui whoops see daisy ui left ui right either will work so if you're wanting full movement use this if you're wanting just left and right use this either or will work okay so I'll comment this out. We'll use the original. And now we have our input, but it's not doing anything. So in order to actually change the face right, it's what? Four lines, I think. So we'll do if input dir dot x. Since we're using um, get vector, we need to access x. Greater than 0.0, .0 meaning no in or is is an input to the right. Uh, face right equals true. Whoops, true. Lf 
And you want to make sure you use elif here. Elif dir input dir is less than 0, 0.0. Base rate equals false. You'll want to make sure you use elif here. Otherwise, your character will be stuck facing that way if you're not moving. So real quick, we'll test this. Oh, vector 2 float. Ah, okay. So, tricked. Little tricked. If, if you're using two inputs, left and right, this will this this will work so i i got my wires crossed oh wow did i ever get my wires crossed okay that's confusing apologies so this is what you want to use dot x if you're doing this and if you're only doing left and right then you would want to remove these okay sorry for crisscrossing dot x Dot x okay so now if we test it if we move left move right we get our flips up and down currently do not do anything at the moment but you could also apply this to say facing up facing down if you want i think that's it if you if y'all are wanting to see more i can make another video on iterating upon this expanding upon this this is essentially what I had for the other projects that you've seen. It can get more complicated, but I figured, hey, I'll make it as simple as possible because people seem to really want to know this and I want to make it accessible. All right. Now you got your flips. So this is the part where you can either, I don't know, copy the code, move it into your character, um, make some more animations for example uh it'll all it should all work because all we're doing is just rotating the sprite um so yeah go nuts make your make your paper characters your paper flips and have fun with it if you like this maybe give a follow subscribe whatever it is you do on youtube and uh, i'll catch you next time adios